Hi guys, welcome you again to another video of software testing by MDP. In this video, I'm going to talk about derived model in software development lifecycle. Before you proceed with this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure that you have seen my software development lifecycle video and waterfall waterfall model video before you come to this video. Let's get started with the derived model. So in derived model, here we take up the basic model or a single model and change it according to the company standard or business requirement is called as derived model as the name suggests guys it is a it is derived from the other models as the name suggests it is derived from the another models that means i will tell you guys one more the definition of derived model please make sure to hear it, hear it clearly it is a basic model now i'm going to take my basic model as waterfall model waterfall model as the definition says here we take up the basic model or a single model and change it according to the customer's requirement or company standard is called a derived model so i have taken my waterfall model if you guys remember in waterfall model the stages are requirement collection feasibility study design then coding then testing then installation and then maintenance this is my waterfall model these are the seven stages of my waterfall model so in in my derived model i'm going to do some modification in this so how my derived model will which will look like out of my waterfall model so this is my waterfall model this is my derived model so if you guys remember in waterfall model requirement collections were not tested so in my derived model what i am going to do i will make sure that my requirement collections are tested next is was feasibility study if you guys remember in in waterfall model once after the feasibility study is done you cannot go back and change the requirements but in my derived model i will make sure that requirement changes are allowed since it is a derived model it will be done because company standard or else because of the requirement so company can do whatever they want so i have derived my what i am de deriving a derived model from my waterfall model so in my waterfall model requirement collections were not tested but in my derived model i am testing it in my waterfall model once after feasibility study is done requirement changes are not allowed but in my derived model i am allowing requirement to get changed in my derived model of waterfall model here design phase was not tested but in my derived model i i will allow my design phase to be tested and after that there is coding and after that there is testing installation maintenance guys and if you guys remember in my waterfall video waterfall uh, model video i had said that waterfall model is also called as traditional model 
the reason it is called traditional model is because this was a model which which is being followed from long back on those times my testing part test engineers were not involved to test this part they had hired developers to test the means whoever was doing test developing he was only involved in doing the testing developer was, was involved to do the testing part in my waterfall model but but in my derived model i am hiring my test engineers to do the testing part so i hope this, this, this is very clear which will help you guys to make sure that what do you mean by derived model if you like this video please subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video and if you have any doubt regarding this video please list it out i will answer this question i will answer your questions and uh, i have added my core and uh, blog in the link description please check it out thank you